Welcome, we are going to obtain the stress at these points by using coupling constraint. As you can see, we have a box with these properties. At first in part module, click on create part and in the dialog box in front of name type a name, for example box, and from modeling space, 3D deformable solid extrusion and then click continue. Now click on create lines and in reply to pick a starting corner for the rectangle type minus 60 and 40 and then press enter. Now in reply to pick the opposite corner for the rectangle type 60 and minus 40 and then press enter. Then deactivate the tool and then click done. Now in the dialog box in front of depths type 20 and then click OK. Now change the part module to the property module. Click on create material and then in the dialog box in front of name type a name for example steel and from the general click on density and uh, type up this value and then click mechanical elasticity elastic and then type uh, these values uh, in this part and then click ok now click on create section and in the dialog box type a name for example section steel and then select solid and then homogeneous and then continue now in the dialog box in front of material select steel and then click ok then click on assign section and uh, in reply to select the regions to be assigned section in front of create set type a name for the box for example set box and then select the box from the viewport and then click done now in the dialog box in front of section select section steel and then click ok now change the property module to the assembly module then click on instance part and from the dialog box click on independent and then click OK. Now in order to assign a name for each point, click on Tools, Set, Create, then in the dialog box in front of name, for example type A and then continue. Now select this point from the viewport and then done. We will repeat it again for the other points. Now change the assembly module to the step module, then click on create step and in the box at first select static general and then click continue. Now in the window click on this tab and type 0.1 for the initial in front of increment size and then click OK. Now click on Field Output Manager and in the dialog box click on Edit then from the frequency select Last Increment and then deactivate this part and this part and from Strains activate E and then 
click OK. Now click Dismiss to close the window. Then change the asset module to the interaction module. Now click on Create Reference Point and in Reply to Select Point to act as reference point type minus 25 minus 40 and 60 and then press enter then click on create constraint and in the dialog box at first select coupling and then click continue now in reply to select the constraint control points at first in front of create set type a name for example rp and then select the rp from the viewport now click done and in front of select the constraint region type click on surface and then in front of create surface type a name for example surf coupling and then click on the surface now click done and in the dialog box click on ok now change the interaction module to the load module then click on create load and in the dialog box in front of a step select a step one and from this part click on concentrated force and then click continue then in reply to select points for the load click on sets and in the dialog box click on rp and then click continue now in the window in front of cf3 type minus 4.8 e3 and then press ok now click on create boundary condition and in the dialog box in front of a step click on initial and then select the first icon and then click continue now in order to close the region selection box click on dismiss and then in reply to select regions for the boundary condition in front of create set type a name for example bc and then select the bottom surface now click done and in the dialog box select the last icon and then click ok now change the load module to the mesh module then click on sit part instance and in the dialog box in front of approximate global size type 4 and then click ok now click on mesh part instance and in reply to OK to mesh the part instance, click Yes. Then change the mesh module to the job module. Now click on Create Job in the dialog box in front of Name, type a name, example 1, and then click Continue. Now in the dialog box, click on Memory tab and in this part type 100 person and then click OK then click on job manager and in the dialog box in order to start running the job click on submit and wait for completing the job as you can see it has been completed in order to see the results click on result then click on plot contours and in order to change the font size of the legend click on viewport viewport annotation options then click on legend tab and then click set font now for example select 14 for the size and then activate bold and then ok now click ok then click on create xy data and in the dialog box activate odb field output and then click continue now in front of position select unique nodal and then from stress components select s33 now click on elements nodes tab and then click node sets 
then select a point for example A and then click save now in the dialog box click OK and then click dismiss then click on XY data manager next click edit as you can see the stress value at this point is this then click OK and in order to find the stress at point B click on create again and then click ODB field output and then continue now in the dialog box click on elements notes and then click on note sets now select B and then save and OK then click dismiss from the window next click edit as you can see the stress value at point B is this then click OK now we are going to compare the results with the results obtained from the mechanics of materials theories according to the theory the values of a stress at point A and B are these values as you can see the results are almost the same and by changing the mesh size we can decrease the errors between the results